Our next speed review, the Saucony Triumph versus the Hoka Clifton. You will notice I'm holding an eight instead of the Clifton nine. This is just what was available. So obviously daily trainers again. I would consider the Triumph the softer of the two shoes. Um, both of these are going to be not a wide shoe, but accommodate more of a foot so they don't run very narrow like Nike. They are both great for distance. I used to love the Clifton a lot, a lot. I haven't loved some of the recent updates, so the Triumph has been my go-to marathon shoe. It does have a little bit more weight to it, so long run shoe, I should say, a little bit more weight to it, um, a little bit more of a heel drop to it. You may find that the Hoka feels slightly more stable. That is just a feature of all of their shoes. So stable without overcorrecting.